Matty Pav. Yes, yeah. it's me. Hello. Matt Pavich. Uh huh. You gotta it. say his full name because. Yeah, he's he's a viral boy now, dude. The album's out. The, the album's album is out. ripping. The clips yeah. are doing well. Clips are ripping. I'm I'm listening to the kids. I'm doing the reels. Yeah, the reels. I'm the reels sure, are yeah. Making sure it's under a minute. Yeah. A lot of my jokes are not. So. Yeah. <laughs> do you cut the fat, I, or do you just? I just to... cut the fat on one joke, and it pained me. It mm -hmm. pained, yeah, yeah. It pained me with every being in my soul. I said, "This isn't stand-up comedy." Yeah. I'm not waiting the amount of time that I normally wait. Yeah. But it's got to be under a minute for the kids. Yeah, yeah. for the kids. It's for the kids. They can't sure. regurgitate it. They, they can't f figure anything out. That's a Schweppes, by the way. Uh, we're, we're Schweppes. I love it. Yeah. We're Schweppes household. I try to get really? I, I, I like a Canada Dry. Canada Dry. Well, this is seltzer. This is what not you, ginger ale. I'm, I'm a Halls guy. A Halls? It's a New York seltzer. Hello, sir. How are What's you? What's up, dude? This is Burke. That's Burke. What's up, Burke? Yeah, it's Burke. That's Burke's yeah. timing. We hired him fucking 10 <laughs> hours ago. <laughs> the kid just shows up in the first minute. So La Croix is what I looked for. I looked for like a variety, but that's for TikTokers. Yeah. This is for Schweppes House. This is that's old for, school, established. Yeah, that's 1783, for, baby. They've been doing it for a long, a long time. time. Exactly. That's for bulbous, seltzer. hairy drunks to get up, hungover, <laughs> roll out of their fucking air mattress, and just quench their thirst with bubbles. How many times do you think they've changed their recipes since 1783? I don't know. How hard is it to make seltzer? I'm sure they've it's, got. I'm sure it was just. Seltzer at one point, and I now, had, now yeah. it's all natural, unsweetened lemon, not lime. I took a shot on this, okay, because they have Schweppes has, has a plethora of oh, flavors. Yeah. Do they? Yeah, pink grapefruit. They they mix in some pink strawberry grapefruit. and some uh, cranberry. I like a pink grape. Pink grapefruit seltzer is so. It good. is good, I but that's a risk. It's divine. Uh, oh fuck! Is it? But this is also. I was going to do that. I haven't seen you in years, first off. Yeah, that's You're true. great. Thank you, man. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you have a glow good. about you. You also could be any nationality. I can't figure out what the fuck. You I look am, Puerto Rican, Italian, Jewish. I'm ethnically ambiguous. You are. You can get yeah. any commercial job you want right that's now. That's what I thought. Yeah. But now they're looking for <laughs> specifics. Yeah. Oh, they're looking really, for, really? Uh, they don't want ethnically ambiguous Really? Anymore. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't book commercials, so that's what excuse I'm using. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what I am. My father is Croatian. Okay. Uh, and my mom is Italian and Haitian. Holy fuck. Wild card. How? That is yeah, wild. I know. Uh, an Italian man from Sicily. I mean, he's very Americanized. Married a for real Haitian woman. Wow. Back when it in was Sicily. not cool. Yeah, I was no, going to no, say, in that's America, a, that's a no-no. Woodside. No. Oh, wow. They couldn't oh, get yeah, a house. They couldn't uh, walk down the street. They were all sorts of tales. Holy shit! Yeah, it was uh, it was a it was it was a crazy thing. Did they move or they just they just ride it out? They got a they house in Woodside. My, my grandfather still lives there. My my grandmother, rest her soul, died before I was even born, so I never got to meet the whole Haitian family. They all died very young, which is fucking uh, very sad. But uh, she was a, she was an amazing woman, from what I hear. Uh, he's a real real uh, piece of work. Your father, my grandfather. Oh, your grandfather. Because he's kind of racist. Yeah. But then you go, but you married a Haitian woman. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. maybe made him racist. N no, I maybe. maybe. <laughs> it's like, now I get what yeah, they're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he says just wild things where you go, you can't say that, Grandpa. It's 2020. That's what Chris says to me like, what's a week? Yeah, 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 yeah. Almost every yeah, day. Every what's, day. What's, can you give us an example? <laughs> no, he can't. Yeah. Uh, no, I'll, something. Give you, I'll give you an example. It's in a context. Yeah, yeah. He'll, he'll just say something like, uh, you know, the, uh, there are lazy people. And you go, Grandpa, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. They're the opposite, yeah. aren't they? Haitians? Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't mean Haitians. I'm, oh, not, I'm oh. not even being specific. I'm oh. talking about, he will just say a nationality is a lazy people. Yeah. And you go, how is that backed up by fact, Grandpa? Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. And he goes, uh, yeah, you know, I read a book and he's... He, he's <laughs> so it's not first-hand experience. No, 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 no. I mean, he, he read a book where they were like measuring skulls or something. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's the kind of shit that he pulls yeah. out. Yeah. This one's got the lazy gene. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And he's, he's a, he's a, he was a, a high school teacher he speaks four languages he's one of the most well-read uh he's a cinephile and, and he's just a grandpa that yeah. still says out of pocket yeah what the fuck we're in a restaurant they kind of earn that right in a way you know uh, yeah. especially that's the last hold on 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 what I'm saying is, you know, they, that generation is the last generation of like, all right, fire it out of your mouth hole and see what happens. You know, like he, he doesn't give yeah. a 
wow. they don't care and that's beautiful there is a beautiful nature yeah. in that like there's uh, not yeah. when he says that those kind of things but like it'll <laughs> he'll be very direct straight to your face i mean you know He's a, he's an interesting guy, my grandpa. Well, he goes after you if you're hanging out with grandpa. He's like throwing shit at you. No, he keeps uh, commending me on my perseverance in the industry, which hurts. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's like a backhanded yeah. compliment. It, oh, it's the most backhanded. You, you really yeah. haven't given up yet, kid, have you? And I'm like, no, grandpa. No uh, quit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got a lot of moxie, kid. <laughs> and I'm like, that really hurts my feelings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually doing all right. Yeah. Like, there's also such a disconnect with like old school pop pops and like current media. Yeah. Like, how do you explain to your father how well your clips are doing on your new album? Exactly. Like, you can't fucking yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah. No way. You'd have there's... to use like racial terms. Like, you'd be very insensitive. Like, yeah, yeah. all right, imagine there's this many people on an island. <laughs> <laughs> you want to yeah. leave there stranded. I, I yeah, just had dinner real... with him two days ago. And uh, I, I said to him, hey, you grandpa, two went out to dinner. Me, my mother, okay. my dad, my grandfather and my cousin. And uh, he goes, how's the career going? He always asks me how the career is going. And I go, you know, I tried to explain it to him. Uh, some of these clips that I'm putting on TikTok and Instagram are, are going viral. And he goes, it's not that uh, homosexual video you did, is it? <laughs> What? And I go, what homosexual video did I do, Grandpa? And he goes, that coincidence, that, uh, I don't know if you guys ever saw this stupid dance video that I did on uh, YouTube a few years ago, went viral. Yeah, with and your buddy, right? With, the, well, he's yeah, not my buddy, buddy anymore. Oh? We, can, we can get into that. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, we put out all these sketches, one hit, and he, he goes, yeah, it had a lot of homosexual <laughs> undertones. <laughs> and I was like, because we were dancing? What? He goes, no, the two men, they're together, then they change the world through dance. It's sort of homosexual. <laughs> oh, my God. This actually <laughs> seems like it's saying more about him than it is about oh, you. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, but also, it's a different time. So, like, I understand. I know, look, but look, it feels... I, I say this all the time. And I, I've, 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 uh, hugging another man yeah. is so... F fruitful for me yeah like when you can be confident in your skin uh -huh. with another guy friend that you love yeah it's so wonderful but breaking that barrier it takes so many not just years of yeah. like your father has to be okay with it grandfather has to be okay with it i grew up in a loving family my dad was never a, a big hugger kisser until yeah. like i got to college yeah, yeah. my mother was because i was a baby she was yeah, all yeah. over me so i'm all over my friends all the time I've never gotten a hug from my grandfather in my life. Really? He just eats That's it, and this is how he shakes my hand. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just to... <laughs> well, I was saying the opposite. I don't want to accuse your grandfather of being gay, but... No, no, he's... I don't when you see it everywhere, you start go like... It's like ads now. Like if you run into someone and they're like, "You seen these these herpes ads are crazy." And you're yeah. Like, no, I'm not seeing that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody just got knows. some news. Yeah, yeah. Your algorithm knows. You're on the web. Zero herpes ads in the last 25 years. I've never gotten one. Yeah. No, never yeah. once. I always wonder how much would someone have to pay me to be the face of a herpes ad. Yeah. I think I I think I would do it. I would do it. Yeah, but I'd have to get compensated pretty pretty well. Yeah, right. you, well, you you talking like triple the rate? Let's say sag rate. I don't know. That's what I wonder. Because then <laughs> okay, you're the let's face talk about of it. herpes. What for about fifteen uh, yeah. years? Are you talking about but, like like State Farm Jake type shit where you got to keep coming back, or is this a one time thing? I'm just talking about like a picture on the train. I don't think. I don't your, you know. <laughs> what? That's a great idea for herpes know, medication. I don't think that's you gotta the way, get a state farm that's check. Not just, that's not the way the herpes market works. No, you don't have like a, a charming, picture. like regular <laughs> yeah. guy. Well, maybe like we gotta switch it up. <laughs> See? State Farm Jake. I like this. With hey, herpes. it's me. Herpy Jake. I still have herpes. <laughs> Here I am. It's me, Herpy Hank. Watch me get into a... Herpy Hank. Herpy Hank. And you're talking residuals for years? Oh. I don't give a fuck. Oh, no, no. I would Dude. do it, but I, I always feel like the rate must be more. Yeah. 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 For things like, you know, Dude. those things. And once it gets out that you truly don't have herpes, you're just the face of the herpes. How do you get that out, though? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, know, hard. you gotta back up all you the commercials with your own YouTube yeah. channel going, I don't have herpes. <laughs> <laughs> it pays me 200 grand a year to not have herpes. Yeah, that's funny. No, Dude. but I mean, I don't think you'd ever remember a herpes person from an ad. Right? Yeah. Also, if someone recognizes you, that's great. You're the guy for you, from the, uh, Yeah, how do I know you? Which means they're herpes. seeing it, which means they have herpes. Yeah, that's yeah. true. The right, so they knows. can't say shit. So the they moment, if they go, if they go, aren't you that guy? And they've seen so many of them, they remember you. <laughs> yeah. It's like, whoa, yeah. Yeah, we need to break this off now. 
Yeah. Like, you definitely have her. If you recognize me, you have herpes. Like, the only people who, who, who like, recognize, I'm sure, anyone from those AIDS commercials. Those AIDS what? drug? They have, like, an AIDS Where drug Where are the AIDS now. commercials? They're not commercials for AIDS. It's that. that. <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? There's no, they have like a drug. A, like for plus? HIV. No, what's yeah. it called? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It just reduces your... Um, uh, yeah. Bobby, the bartender was just telling it's me like about this. He said it's straight people are spreading it more, and straight people should be on this if they're having unprotected sex in the streets. I don't. <laughs> but you should be. They're saying there's a big article saying like straight people should be on this shit. I'm What's sure it's it a called? pharmaceutical push to get everybody buying this goddamn Sp- pill. Straight people are spreading AIDS. Yeah, because they're they're more uh, they're having like the I don't know a little bit of orgy parties I maybe. Mean, people are eating ass. I mean, people I guess yeah. it's possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that feels like I don't know. That's that's big gay. The whole gay shit. <laughs> big Let gay me finish on that. It's like even complimenting a guy uh-huh. still in 2022. Like if I was just like, you look great, dude. Yeah, hair's perfect. Thank you. You got a glow about your skin. You Thank moisturize. You. If I, I had this conversation in a bar in my hometown, you get the shippy. We would you. both get the fucking shippy about it. Yeah, I grew put up, up in a nice really? I grew up in New York, and I went to a theater high school. So I'm. Not as like macho, uh, yeah, yeah, machismo, yeah. straight as I'm on the spectrum, if you will. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why Pop Pop well, thinks you're bi. <laughs> <laughs> dancing boys. Well, I can't. My boy's dancing. He's yeah. must like guys. Yeah. I don't know. There's, there's one solution. Even dancing is gay for an old cat like that. I know. That. I know. If Just you're not dancing having with fun. a woman, if you're not dancing with a woman, you right. can't. Yeah. yeah, you're gay. You're absolutely yeah, yeah. gay. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. can't even laugh with a guy. No. What do you, what's all this hubbub about? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Keep it moving. Yeah. See, I know I'm not gay because uh, <laughs> I can't see the ugly hot guys. Like, I know a beautiful man Yeah. when I see one. Yeah, you live For with sure. One. Yeah. But I can't, you know, like, there's, for women, there's like a kind of weird, gross, whorish thing that you're like, ah, I need that. I don't have like I can't see that with dudes. You know what so I mean? Like I can't. Only attracted to good-looking men. Is what you're, not attracted. Yeah, but you, you I understand can only see. The appeal. I can understand. I can see. I know a hot guy from a not hot guy, but I don't gotcha. know like a you know the, 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 the moxie or a, I don't. I can't see the <laughs> the chutzpah. Yeah, like I can't. I can't look at a guy and be like. Oh, that guy would fuck me so good. Oh, my <laughs> you know God. what I'm saying? Yo, yeah. No one's asking for that. Yeah, no, I didn't. No, but you can do that with women. Right. Right. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. When but I you see a also... really good looking dude, I'm never like, oh, I want to fuck that guy. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, that guy must get so many women. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how I know. I, that's how I think I'm not gay. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I, you know. Or even that that whole conversation I would have with like an ex or, or a girlfriend, it's like, that guy is fucking outrageously hot right yeah yeah like, like if, yeah. if somehow you were doing your hair and like put some lotion on and you wound up looking like that guy you'd be like i look good today yeah yeah <laughs> you don't. what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> no but i also find i find myself like being attracted to like a guy's character the way they handle themselves and i'll tell my girl i'll be like that guy's hot right and yeah. she'll be like no oh the really not, I said it so many times like don't you think that dude's hot yeah and just cause like, the way he's like, operating like even a friend of mine I'll be like you guys are bonding over the Phillies yeah, and- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his favorite player is John Kwok too this dude's a the smoke show smoking yeah. hot. how do you not see it yeah no, true. I, I do think there's an element of like you can recognize beauty in anything obviously but yeah, there are standard characteristics of a facial structure there's a uh, yeah. al- no, it's a mathematical Symmetrical, yeah. Yeah. Like, is symmetry, symmetry in yeah, faces it's, uh, is big. Each your eyeballs are one eyeball is supposed to be. This yeah. is for beauty standards. In one between. eyeball in between. Yeah, your nose is two and a half, I think. I don't know. And the corners of your lips should be at the middle of your pupils. Buddy, you're nailing it. Uh, you know yeah, what? That's yeah, how I yeah, brought yeah. this up. But I want to try. Everybody's checking yeah, features yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think, but there's there's hot asymmetrical dudes. There's chicks that people are like, I, oh I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to fuck that guy, and he's got some that. crazy French face. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm attracted to women with like weird beaks. Me too. And I, I think maybe because really? they say you're attracted to your own self too. Yes. So I have a I have a wild beak. 
It's not as wild really? as mine. I would say mine you got a nice wild, wild beak too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I like a woman with I have a, a strong nose. You do have a strong nose. People you do. tell me it gives you character. It does. I got a little too much character. <laughs> it does. Yeah. I used to have a cyst on my face. Yeah. I got that removed. People told me I looked like Quasimodo. Yeah. What? And uh, it didn't feel good. Yeah. What I got happened? Removed is... Once when I was eighteen, and then it grew back, and I had to get it removed again when I was twenty. It was a dermoid cyst. Uh, it's a weird fucking disgusting like it could have been like a tooth or a hair or like oh my god the fuck. what yeah that gets stuck in your head and it just keeps growing yeah uh and uh and my teeth are all fucked up and uh, <laughs> jesus christ people man. tell me that You're a good looking I, dude that's that's what i hear but when i look in the mirror i go how is, is it possible because there's too much character. I have a lot of character. <laughs> yeah. Too much character. I don't know. You got good hair. Thank you. Yeah. I do have you good hair. Like I, I'm I looking at, at the, the profile company. right now, but you got a symmetrical you're face. Concentr- you're great. concentrated queens is what yes. you are. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. that's that's what... Get, you could have a hairy fucking tooth growing on the front of your forehead. Concentrated queens dudes that I've met <laughs> right. are charming as fuck regardless. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Being from New York is a is an advantage, I feel like. People, Sometimes. People freak out when they find out that I'm a native New Yorker. Yeah. They get so excited. Yeah. 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 That's cool. I tell them I'm from Queens and they're like a little less excited, but still excited. Because yeah. surprisingly enough, it feels like it's rare. It is rare. It's very rare. It's it weird. Rare. It's, it's yeah. a weird thing to be rare, but I guess, I, you know. Well, native New Yorkers aren't fucking, you know. Stan, yeah. They're not, yeah. They're, they're painting walls like it's <laughs> fucking pop-up. <laughs> they're and not so mingling f- with the rest of the city is what you're saying? Uh, well, yeah. They don't, and they don't, they, they wouldn't, they, they think we're all dancing together every time we pass them. Well, they don't have time for this shit. What are you going to, wait a minute. This is actually, we talked about this earlier. I want to bring on like regular dudes. Uh-huh. So I got I got close to the exterminator uh-huh. at the local bar that we go to. Okay. Because he would come in at the same time that I would come in. It's this big, fat, burly New York native. And he was, he's so funny. Yeah. So interesting. Yeah. And he's telling me stories about like, you know, rat killings and shit. Of course. At like some of the best restaurants in the city. And he's yeah. so fucking funny and so likable. My Queens friends are so funny that they don't think I'm funny. Right. Oh yeah. In yeah. The group chat, they're like, "You're not that funny." Dude. Right. Like, you, it's crazy that this is this is your career choice. Yeah, I could I could recommend <laughs> yeah, some, yeah, some yeah. Queens goons to come. That'd on be podcast. great. Yeah. yeah. That'd be. They might great. say some wild shit. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. We can yeah. edit it. It's not yeah. live. What's your local bar? Which is your yeah, favorite? Ju- well, Are Ju- you like- yeah. There's one on uh, 30th Judy's. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a real a cool nice one. spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there are other places. Madams. It's a sister yeah. bar on Madame Marie's. Sweet Afton's great. Great burger. Dynamite burger. Dynamite burger. Yeah. yeah Good yeah. bartender. Okay. Yeah, he's from uh, PA. Mm. I feel like buddies from home, though, that are funny, I need to be in their element. Yes. Yeah, you put for in it front to of work. a microphone, it might not jive. Yeah, yeah, like putting a, like a, you know, thoughts yeah. together. Well, you'd have to put a lav mic and a hard hat on him in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> put a fucking... Set him to work. <laughs> he'd have to hold a horseshoe <laughs> and a fucking a Miller Lite. And he'd be like, now go. <laughs> Tell me about how racist your dad is. I feel like that would kill. Yeah, yeah. it would destroy. You have to shoot them three and a half blunts. <laughs> yeah, they, they smoke yeah. blunts. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's... I've always said that construction workers and everyone that's in the union of my family, like, they're funnier than any oh, fucking yeah. guy. My buddy's a bridge painter. I mean, he's hysterical. Yes. Yeah. He yes. doesn't even know that he's funny. No. It's They're the best people. Yeah, I, I get questions all the time. Like, what, what was that? Gu- what was that? <laughs> it's crazy. It's the craziest job in the world. Right? A bridge painter. Yeah, yeah. you're like sandblasting, sandblasting shit. for twelve hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they dude. shit in a bucket. What? Yeah, There's bridge no paint? bathrooms on a bridge. I mean, let you it fall in the water. In a, no, you got to shit in a bucket. Then someone's job. One of the apprentices has to throw your shit out. Wait, I feel like the, there's a bucket guy for the shit. There's a bucket guy. He really? gets to lunch while, while you're apprentice. You have to throw out shit. You have to get people coffee. And- is this one? Is of this sh- like a special bucket, or is it like one of those no, old spackle a, buckets? Yeah, spackle bucket. <laughs> five gallon, ten gallon, whatever they call it. Go take a shit in the five gallon. Yeah, yeah. just a yeah. painter's bucket with a pee on it. <laughs> Don't give me not that one. Give me a special no, one. That's the, the pee one. What the fuck Come is wrong with you? That's the pee one. Jesus Christ. Yeah. No seat. They have a. They have a. There is a lid. <laughs> yeah, like, well, I, I'm serious. They jimmy a lid, and they cut a hole in the they middle. Cut a hole in the middle. So it's like a squatty potty for for it's bridge a, painters. It's a <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you gotta you get, just put two little bricks up. Unbelievable. Yeah, Wait, hold on. You get so are these dudes out there. on fucking like like climbing? Like I don't know what the climbers have. They like a harness. I have this like fantasy mm. about wild fucking jobs like painter. this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just want to dance with them first. Yeah, yeah. Then we'll get to the hugging phase. Yeah. Then I'll eat his ass. Yeah. 
So they sandblast on a harness. Yes. Let's let's take for reference Queensboro Bridge. Yes. They start at the base where the road starts. I don't know enough about this uh, <laughs> to answer your question. All right. I know that they work insane hours. They shit in a bucket. And uh, then they paint the bridge. First, they have to blast the whole bridge. And then yeah. someone is behind them painting. Yeah. And they, like, work their way across the bridge. Yeah. And basically, by the time they're done, they have to, like, start over. Yeah. They have to repaint. It's like That's how long it takes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why can't these fucking Degos sandblast <laughs> the, the railings out front? They just paint over it. Why don't they just paint over the bridge? Uh, I don't know. Is that a security issue when they start like paint chips start falling? I, I think mean, paint. I, you paint things so that it doesn't rust. Yes. And these bridges rust. Right. So I think they have to uh, clear all the shit. You want me to call them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. but they're also looking for issues. Yeah, right. They blast it off. Time. They look how the you know they inspect the steel and so stuff you're like saying that. The guy, <laughs> you, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not, this is not true. These guys. If you're it's shitting in a bucket, there's no in. way. So, <laughs> there's no engineers shit in buckets, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, guy, that's, that's the guy who shows up in a white fucking button up and khakis. He's not the fucking bucket shitter. It is crazy. They don't just have like a porta potty at the but they can like rope down. Well. There, there's like these nets they put like these fabric uh things and you blast in there and you wear like a, a, a gas mask like it's it's hazardous shit that yeah they're dealing yeah with. and uh they don't want the paint to just fall into the ocean or right. whatever it is right so i don't think you could put a porta potty in these little things yeah also that's kind of like True. a suicide prevention net too yeah yeah and you got to contain all the sand you can't all have like sand, a door yeah. Yeah. is it sand or glass sand sand uh, Pretty sure it's glass. Sand. Why would it be glass? Yes. Well, sand Can you glass? hit power on that pot? <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know. I, it's sh sharp. Glass is just melted paint. sand, isn't it? Yes. I thought. Damn, that was a fucking. Uh, <laughs> that was a wild question. His confidence in this. Yeah, I think. I they think melt it is. sand and then they blow it. That's yeah. what glass is. It I is. Think that, yeah, yeah, I think that's what it is. God damn, I don't know anything. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, but, but I it think so. sounds great. Yeah, it sounds great. I can imagine. I can. I can conceive of instead of it being sand, being tiny pieces of glass. But sand is seems like it'd be more durable. <laughs> oh, you're talking about what they're shooting at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a gun. Sand blast. Yeah, yeah, sand yeah. Blast. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've never it's heard. Sand no blast. one's ever said glass, glass blasting. That's a, that's a sexual. Act. Yeah, yeah. The other day I was glass blowing this bitch. It was fucking incredible, True. bro. Dude, that's so funny. You, I want to say this. You came in here and you complimented the wall. Yes, this is Venetian plaster. For those of you that don't know, uh, I think uh, my I've father. Been I've been shitting on this paint to my landlord. Yeah. For three years. Oh well. I like it. And you came in. I I don't mind it this room. Nice. Yeah. I don't mind this room because you can't fill the halls and the the holes and then uh, Venetian paint over it. Right. Here's the problem. I like it. Another problem. I have bad taste. So I oh, might, really. Yeah. I don't mind that this room. Every yeah. other room needs to be painted. Okay. So I think he thinks this is the. He was a uh, baby when he grew up in this. This hasn't been touched. Since yeah. they were kids, that's crazy. Like, I feel like this I got like bad 50 years taste old. too. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the, the older I get, the more I realize. What's that the thing that, that triggered it for you? Uh, my girlfriend. Um, <laughs> oh well, that come on. She's got great taste in like movies and stuff, and like everything that I like, she tells me I'm wrong. And uh, you got to break up with this person. No, I love her very <laughs> much. She's great. Katie's great. And, uh, <laughs> she, I'm just no one. This is why I think I have bad taste. You never hear someone admit they have bad taste. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No one's ever like, oh, I love that movie, but I, I got bad taste. Yeah, everyone yeah. thinks they have good taste. True. So it's impossible that everyone has good taste. Yeah. So I'm coming to the realization that I I have good taste in some things. Yeah. Comedy. I feel like I have good yeah. taste in comedy. Uh, uh, I was just going to say books, but I've read three books in my life. Yeah, so same. We were just talking about that. But talk. I love these and every, every one, one of them. Yeah. 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 And I'm going, dude, that looks, I've heard that's good. Yeah. And then I go, I never read it. Nah, uh, they're all coasters, dude. Yeah. They are fucking, <laughs> nobody's using any of those books. Finishing a book. What a fucking, It's crazy. It's all so hard. Dude, I finish a chapstick and I'm like, you know how hard that is? I've never finished a chapstick in my life. <laughs> I'm three in a row right now. That's incredible. I have a fucking... I chisel into my bedroom wall <laughs> like, yeah. a, like a prisoner <laughs> counting his years when I get a chapstick dunk. <clears throat> yeah. And I'm, I'm a maniac. I got one in every fucking pocket. What's your brand? So far, I've been uh, I've been leaning towards Carmex 
Carmex. Twist up. That's a good I don't one. like the, yeah, here it is. The bomb. You don't like I always the bomb? Got, I don't like the bomb. I don't like the lip messy. applicator. Messy. It's very messy. And yeah. you're very, it's very wasteful. But the problem with yeah. the this turn, consistency yeah, that's is, a good one. is much different. Yeah. It's emollient. So the, it has like a sheen to it too, okay. which like you want to get hot lips. Yeah. You want to get IG model hot lips. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's a Carmex. You on. say it's a mole, but doesn't it extend emollient. in your pocket? Are you making up walking? words? Or? I take a mole. It's a word. A mole. I, I it's didn't like know a, what it, It's like yeah. a shiny oil <laughs> ointment. A mole. <laughs> I've never heard it before. It I assumed you knew Did what you were talking about. Did you do some about. research on this chapter? People, yeah, what's going this on? Is, we, that's why I don't <laughs> hang around with you, Matt. People I hang around with, you just, everybody just goes, yeah, I guess it's right. <laughs> I don't want any questioners like around it. me. It's a good word. I'm like Putin. Somebody yeah. asks me a question, you're fucking, you're fucking dead. dead. You're, you're dead. out. You're, you're out of my me. life forever. Emollient. Yeah, I can't you identify like a Latin root of that at I think, all. Yeah. I think emollient. <laughs> I think it means Emolient. gas blaster. Yeah, glass blaster. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. doesn't it doesn't it extend in your pocket? Because it's got the twist at the bottom. You walk, and then it no, extends. No, you got that fucking horse ass, which is stretching on the denim <laughs> in the front. Yeah, it doesn't twist. It's always, it's always twisting the calves Dude. in your pants. No, it doesn't twist in your no. pocket. No, not the not the high quality. It does. There's really? more resistance on That's the one. That's never happened to me. When you bulk up, you, you, you spend the big money, dude. <laughs> he's just guy. He's so full of shit. He's a connoisseur. I fucking have you. Yeah. Maddie, I can't tell you how many brands I've been through. Burt's Bees is a joke. Burt's Bees. Bees. Fuck out of here. Terrible. Suck Literal my Burt's. Terrible. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah. Get out of my face. Burt's Bees. I like a, uh, yeah. one that you can... Uh, I have some of those too. Yeah, I got some finger? samples for you. Yeah, you yeah. But my that's mother, the other my... Carmex bottle. Yeah, that is the other Carmex yeah, yeah, bottle. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I keep the the the, uh, the capped one by the by the bed. It's too okay. much for the jeans. I remember in high school, a lot of girls used rose petal. Do you remember that blue tin? Yeah. Yeah. It's too oh, much. Oh, that, and and they, you that, don't have a purse. Yeah. It, it looks like work. you're fucking, it yeah. looks like you have a thousand quarters in your pocket going yeah. to an arcade or something. <laughs> going to an arcade. No, yeah. I, I fucking I I am nuts about the lips and face. I don't Another gate chap- conversation we could have. I don't use chapstick at all because I read somewhere that the more you use chapstick, the more chapped your lips get because it becomes depend the lips become dependent on the ointment to uh, be wet. That's why you need natural stuff. Yeah, this is Carmex is good because it's, it's straight oil. Essentially, I don't think it's going to make a difference if you're applying chapstick all the time. Your body's going to adjust to it. Right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, it's just the yeah, way but it some is. of these are like it's like uh, the chemicals they put in a cigarette to Medicated. make it go faster. Yeah, I what? think some of these other brands of chapstick are putting some stuff in there make you dry out if you're not uh, using. Yeah. It. You know, I don't, I don't buy into Big this Pharma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> these chapstick companies. <laughs> well, the thing is, most Americans are fucking brand loyalists. Yeah, you know, for sure. Like basic bitches go in the fucking Gap or some shit. You find one brand, you go. Well, my mom always gave this to me as a kid, so now I got seven pounds of it in my yeah in my cupboard. You're so out of touch that you think basic bitches go to the gap. I know. Well, yeah, I fucking, you Wait, know. Where to make, uh, I where didn't do they sleep go? well. Aritzia. Aritzia? True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, That's you a, said that place was nice. Zara is my, Zara's oh, my Zara. jam. Zara is great. I love Zara. Zara is my jam. Aritzia is nice too. Expensive, but it's for, but I understand. Basic bitches, it's very basic money. bitches shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This what, is the thing about style. Aritzia? When you say I don't have good taste, yeah. women take that. I think men and women go, okay, as long as I'm wearing what everybody else is wearing, to me, that's basic. I have good taste in clothes. I, I, we didn't get to the, the good taste things that I have. Yeah. I think I dress well. I know comedy and a little bit of rap. I know uh, th- those are my, those are the things where I go, I yeah. have actually rap good has, taste. You have to around this area, right? Yeah. You, yeah, you yeah. have to be, Yeah. you're in the know. Oh yeah. Being yeah, so yeah. close to Brooklyn and, and uh, Queens, Queens has a lot of fucking hits. Nas, you know. Nas, yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. Nicki yeah, Minaj. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what She's I have Queens. good taste She's Queens. in. 50 Cent. Yeah. Awkward. New York. Nicki Minaj has a bad breath, fa- bad breath face. Yeah, yeah. You want to get into that? Face? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Tell me as a theory that all minorities have bad that's breath. That's not what I said. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not yes. Pop Pop Pavich. That's pretty much I didn't say that at all. Much. The last because time you brought this up, I was like, who? who? And Nicki Minaj. I said two rappers because there was Cardi, a connective Cardi tissue. B. There's a connective tissue. In my fucking head. It's not about racist it's they they come in all co- uh, colors and sizes. <laughs> <laughs> bad breath sees no color. Exactly. Give yeah. me a white it's bad the breath. Face. When you see someone's face, you just know they're bad this breath. This is a game you guys play. It's very funny. I <laughs> brought it up. Yeah. I play it I, all day long. Yeah, I right. was hoping you would say, you know, someone like fucking. I don't. I think. Listen, said dude. Meg Ryan if you want to play a fucking flip game next episode, where you just there's a. You know, we'll just get a laptop out think. and we what just about rotate. Adele? You think Adele bad breath? Not when no. she was bigger. Skinnier. I thought about this. Her skinny, Good point. skinny Adele has picked up a little bad breath face. Good point. Yeah. Good point. And she over Good point. She overlines her lips. <clears throat> bad breath face people have like heavy lip lines. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't like that. Interesting. Good yeah. point. The poison can't hide in the fat anymore. It's got to <laughs> yeah, be it's aspirated. Be yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like blasting paint off a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> no, I knew I had bad taste. I remember in high school, I, I when the PT Cruiser came out. <laughs> That's the ugliest car in the world. Please and, tell me you loved it. And I did. I went, I like that car. Yeah. Me you and probably like it. And I, 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 I simultaneously was like, I like this. And something's wrong. <laughs> like, I know there's something's wrong in here. There was a video game. I think it was Gran Turismo where you could soup up a PT Cruiser. <laughs> and me and my cousin were like, this is the ugliest car we've ever seen. Let's soup it up. Yeah. And we souped that baby up in yeah. Gran Turismo. Did you come Did around you a little bit? Good? I liked it. Yeah. I mean, we still will text each other like pictures of PT Cruisers we see in the street. Cause yeah. It's, like a, it's the silliest. It's, fuck. I know. It's I a like hearse. It. It's, uh, yeah. it, I think I got it. Well, I, I like those old Dick Tracy kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The ones with the thing that goes <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't know about Chris. Is okay. He's a big fan of boats. Boats. I do like Yeah, he boats. loves boats. Yeah. And I think... The PT like Cruiser what? looks like a pontoon boat. It does kind of look like a pontoon boat. I don't like it's it. Got the, the, the one indoor, boat I do not like is a pontoon boat. Turns I out you don't. I boat do energy. Not. PT Cruiser has big boat. <laughs> it does. It does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's, that's why he loves yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Dude, wait, hold on. Is Maybe. the pontoon boat, is that like when the Florida room is like on top of a it's fucking... It's just a floor on top of uh, <laughs> like three metal logs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or yeah, but it has logs. like indoor, it's like a box, right? On top of a... Yeah, it, there's literally like a metal fence around the deck. Yeah. I mean, it's the most bare bones <laughs> shit boat. Yeah, it's like to get off an island type shit. So yeah. you like boats? I do like boats. <laughs> when did you find out you were autistic? Were you like, <laughs> Thank you, dude. <laughs> Thank I you. Still, it's I almost still... like we're doing a replay of like episode four. I still don't know. I mean, I like... Were you from somewhere where there's lots of boats? Yeah, Connecticut. Uh, Connecticut. Yeah, okay. there was a decent yeah. amount of boats, but I just always like I like big boats. Okay. I like trains. <laughs> no. Yeah, I like trains a lot. Okay. Yeah, Save yeah, yeah. Excuse me. We'll cut trains. this off right now. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Planes? I kind of like love any planes? any big machine. Love planes. Okay. Love planes. <laughs> I was going back and forth. <laughs> I was going back and forth. Do you like taking TVs <laughs> apart? I was sending. Uh, <laughs> you play blackjack at all? Or you no, cards, no, no, no. I have none of the positive uh, elements of it. <laughs> okay. There's, it's not giving me any advanced skills okay. it's just that i like i was sending i was sending mike feeney videos the other day of like planes going super fast uh -huh. and when they go super fast like the air condenses like around it and they'll literally be like, just sonic like a sonic boom right yeah, well the sonic boom is uh breaking they, airspeed yeah yeah and so you hear oh you're talking about the crack. ring that ring thing. yeah 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 that shit's crazy that is crazy yeah. same cousin with the pt cruiser <laughs> He sends me uh, videos <laughs> of boats uh, not docking properly. And yes! Just smashing. I love that. Dude, yes. He sent me a three and a half hour YouTube <clears throat> clip, and it's just yeah. the most legendary boats just fucking yes. blasting. <laughs> yes. Oh, Blast yeah. blasting into fucking the, oh, it's crazy. The dock. Oh, the, what, you're talking about the where they're, that's where boats go to die. That, that like beach? No. No, this no, this is, is people, talking about where they run up onto the beach. This is people fucking up docking the boat. Because yeah. I like the ones where, yeah, like it's like a cruise ship and they like smash into all another sorts, cruise ship. All sorts, all sorts, I saw a yacht. The yeah. yacht one yes. blasted through a, oh, a dock. Yes. And <laughs> yeah. it's always funny because you hear the crew in the distance like, no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> turn it, turn it, turn it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> also, how do you not, how does that happen? I think maybe. Like, you know, old lady smashed to our wall here in the backyard. I do not know that. She's like 85 years old and there's there's like 20 feet of concrete uh -huh. where they parked her car. There's a little thing and she parks it this way facing, we have a, a brick wall aligned with this wall outside. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's like a cinder block Yeah, it's wall. thick yeah. cinder block. And she goes up eight, 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 six feet and she got nervous and she's got these fucking, you know, course, Coke bottles yeah. and whatnot and she got nervous and hit the gas, breaks the fucking... It breaks the wall. The, yeah. the cinder blocks were all the way across this yeah, way. Yeah. Her car is up like this. Oh and it's going. Mm. <laughs> and this fucking bat gets out and she's like, Ugh. it's just some old Eastern block. Uh, yeah. Would have been so perfect if you went out there and you can't park there. <laughs> <laughs> Miss, I was in no standing You can't park there. <laughs> Dude, that, Dude, reminds instead, me, that reminds me of, uh, I lived in my grandfather's house for uh, a couple years. And he, he's the king of duct taping things and like, I got an idea for this shelf. It's going to float. He's a like, tanker. Yeah. He's a, so we, uh, we're sitting in the living room one day. We were living on the first floor. He's on the second floor and we just hear, vroom, vroom. 
<laughs> a perfectly circular cube of the ceiling just <laughs> lands <laughs> right on the floor. And we hear, ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the whole saw on the on the second floor trying to connect some cable. Who knows <laughs> he what he's doing? Yeah, yeah. He got the to <laughs> the Dude, yeah. It was crazy. Dude, I have a theory that like all, <laughs> older men start to pick up these these crafts yeah. just to get away from their fucking wife. Yeah. My father's been telling me the shit he's doing. And I'm like, dad, you don't, I know you don't have interest in this. Yeah. You have no technical ability in it. You have no knowledge of anything. Yeah, just you're going to get hurt. Golf. Pick yeah, up golf. He does, but okay. he he he's he had like a uh, who cares? He had a little surgery where he he can't he can't golf every week like he does. That sucks. So now my mom's retired, and he can only bop around one floor because it's a it's a rancher. Uh huh. He can only spend so many hours down the basement. So he's like, well, I'm going to make this thing. Yeah. And I was like, what are you what are you, what are you, what are you yeah. making? He's like, for the garden. I'm like, you're not yeah. planting anything this year. And he goes, yeah, I will. Yeah. And he's making just these wood. <laughs> These wood box planters, yeah, with no intention of filling them with anything. Oh, oh my! Just to my, escape. Yeah. yeah, my dad does that shit, but he, he builds stuff for my mom. You know what I mean? It's like a way of yeah, like what a car to get out. It's just a way to like push him away. <laughs> a you know? it's, like, it's like it's like I'm gonna go down here and not talk. I'm gonna build you something yeah. so you can't bitch about it. Right. You know, and now you're sort of in debt to me too. Sure. sure. Ooh, so there's I like, like a, there's a good mm -hmm. yeah yeah you're balancing the ledger. That's a real you know sociopath I mean? move. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. Dude. Oh my god. My dad. My dad did the thing. He like he wanted to put a TV in his workroom, mm -hmm. and he was like he was telling me about how he's gonna do it. Cause he was like, I'm going to run, uh, all these like cable. He was like, I wanted to run the cable down there. I was like, why? Yeah. I was like, you can just stream stuff. He doesn't like, know. He was like, he was like, what, what are you talking about? I want to watch sports. I was like, yeah, yeah. You can just stream it. That. Yeah. Yeah. So I went downstairs and I showed him how to stream stuff to doesn't the TV. Yeah. Matter. Next week I came back. He had, he had drilled all kinds of holes. <laughs> Same thing, just like dr drilling holes through yeah, fucking yeah. Uh, everything. Yeah, yeah, to get that cable down there. And it's just like, dude, why? Why would you do that? Yeah. Do you ever fear like aging to that point where you just go, I, I can't even understand what you're saying? Like I try oh, and learn dude. things just for the podcast and I'm like, I'm out. Yeah. I get to like sentence two. It's like reading a book. It's like finishing a book for me. Yeah. I'm looking at you. Oh my God. I'm acting. Like I'm listening to the knowledge. Yeah. Uh, nothing is breaking this fucking wall. That's how I feel about NFTs and crypto. I don't even try. I, uh, my buddy sat me down and we were, we were, he, he gave me like a three hour tutorial and I, I still couldn't really even. Yeah. That stuff worries me. Like, 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 look, if there's some like unique new investment that I'm not aware of, that worries me less than like the way that you will be able to like click on accidentally click on something <laughs> and lose all of your money. Yeah. I feel like for us when we're geezers is yeah. going to be like a real prop. Like you'll pick up like a beer can and be like, what? And then you'll have to call your kids and be like, I don't have any money. What happened? They'll be like, oh, what beer can did you pick up? Yeah. That's interact. You can't yeah. touch that stuff, dude. That's my not, buddy, you know, be my like, buddy what? forgot a password and he, he's out three, $4,000. <laughs> is that real? Yeah. Password yeah. to get into a... one of these crypto wallets. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and there's no back. There's no backup. There's no backup. No. That's it. It's <clears> gone. <throat> it's forever. He gets an attempt every month. He gets a new attempt to try. Oh and, my god! And he tries every month, and he's like, I, I, I thought I wrote it down. This you know what I do, Maddie? Every oh time my god. I, uh, I get out of a relationship, uh -huh. every password gets changed. Smart to a new one that I can only focus on that one. I have a plethora of ones that like classics I went to. Uh -huh. <clears throat> One time I locked my computer. I used to work at this company called Deloitte, uh -huh. Deloitte and Touche. They're a big five accounting firm. I did uh -huh. IT support and they gave me a work computer. And uh, I had my password for like a decade was poopy. Okay. Yeah. And then I had to go like poopy five. Right. And that was like my, that was my go-to for like 15, 20 years. Right. Yeah. P-O-O-P-Y. You'll, you'll hear. <laughs> so the thing fucking locks up, jams up. I got to go to the IT department, like the, the, you know. Yeah. And I hand them my laptop, and there's just three nerds in a booth. Yeah. You know, they're like in a, in a room half the size, and they're just like, they're working their dicks off. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> they got a pile of computers on both sides, yeah. just like unlocking computers for, for dickheads like me. <laughs> and he goes, all right, what's your password? He doesn't even look at me. 
Nobody's looking at anyone. There's no yeah, yeah. eye contact in a room like this. No energy. It's just like, you're in my fucking way. You're my problem. How can I help you, I guess? Yeah. yeah. So he's like, what's your password? And I was like, and I tried to stagger it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I was like, P-O, O-P-I, E, yeah. five. Yeah. And then it, it was like, immediately, because he's a fucking genius. He was, they all turned. Like, all three heads just turned to me. They were like, <laughs> Poopy, <laughs> dude. So yeah, that's fucking. So I had to change it up. Now it's a, it's I can't even say it. It's so pathetic, dude. Like I would do it every. The job that I worked at, it would every month you'd have to come up with a new password. Every month it would like reset. Yeah, and like inevitably that like I'd get the alert like in the middle of like an emergency. Yeah. So all of my passwords wound up being like suck my fucking dick <laughs> hashtag want like like they were they were awful. Yeah. And then Look, and then literally because you were getting upset for yeah, I was furious. So yeah. I was like typing in passwords that were like eat my fucking <laughs> shit hashtag want you know because you got to get like exclamation yeah, point or whatever in there. And then, so anytime <laughs> and and our IT our IT person was like a little old lady. Yeah. And so anytime she was like, hey, we're like updating <laughs> software. Suck my dick, my I mom. Have to be like, I'm so sorry. Yeah. This is my bad. Hey, <laughs> just be like, let me yeah. tie it. Yeah. Just write it down and turn yeah. your back. I literally would would have to like like through our corporate email to be <laughs> shit. <laughs> one exclamation point or something. It was horrible. I have one password and you could ruin my life. Because yeah. it's everything. It's everything. Me too. Oh, it's me everything. too, dude. Yeah. You can take it all. The yeah. house. The yeah. kids. At that, the, point, the at that point, it's on you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I almost would settle differently, like because I it was my decision to make it one through all of them. If you find it, yeah, have it. I have it. Yeah, yeah. you can have you it. You did it. Yeah, yeah, I'll start over. Yeah, okay, it's, well, it's really the like the the biggest reason to get famous is <laughs> so if your identity gets stolen. You can be like to the whole world, be like, "Come it on, wasn't me. it's yeah, me." Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm all me. these people are getting yeah. Instagram hacked now. Yeah, and they got to start yeah. over. That would be fucking detriment. I would quit. I would quit comedy. Wait, hold on. When you your account gets hacked, you got to start the whole they, thing. Off. Yeah, they take your name, and then they you you. Some people like you'll just look at their story. And it'll be like, send me seventy five hundred dollars on Cash App. I'll yeah. send you ten thousand. And you're like, oh yeah, buddy, you got hacked. But that's it. Right. You can't get back into your account because they changed your password. Yeah, and everything. So it's, those, yeah. and then you have to report the account. Wait a minute. Yeah, it happened to a couple of friends of mine. Because I, I just saw this. Yeah. Ma make sure you have the double two-factor verification on your Instagram. Anybody that has uh, that this shit matters. Yeah. Make sure you do the two-factor verification because then so when somebody attempts <laughs> to is, sign in, they'll send you a code. This is also exactly what they say to you when they're trying to steal your. <laughs> yeah. 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 You need to update the two-factor. Yeah. 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 Send me your send social security. Social 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 no, no, no. It's so real. cute. It's like a text. That they'll yeah. te you get a if someone. If that's not on your device because you log into Instagram pretty much on one device. If another device tries to log in, it'll text you, "Is this you?" Yeah, right. And that's huge. Right. Yeah. I just uh, I got laser surgery on the the sides for uh, sun damage because my father it's not Croatian. I got okay. Irish patches. Uh huh. And they uh, I spent a good bit of coin and I couldn't uh -huh. get a coffee around the corner, so like TD Bank sends you that. Yeah. So I just got embarrassed because the text didn't come for like. It took like 10 minutes to get me saying like, is this is you, this you? Yeah, trying yeah. to buy a coffee? Because you just you showed just... two grand was spent at a spa. Right. Like this is not, we looked at all yeah. your bar receipts. This is yeah, turns yeah, out yeah, you're yeah, getting yeah, skin yeah, graft yeah, at a fucking right, salon. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you spent four grand on whiskey last week. We don't think you're getting your skin yeah, done. Yeah. But. <laughs> Plus it's one of those I2 cysts growing out of your liver. <laughs> <laughs> The dermoid says, Dude, I've seen videos of uh, women giving birth to like just balls of hair and teeth. Really? Yeah, like it's like it's In like a country? medical deformity. You know that? Um, <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> what's that? Uh, what's that? Uh, that music? That mutter museum in Philadelphia? Oh yeah, crazy. Yeah. yeah, it's all like fucking weird shit. I'm not into that at all. I have a uh, yeah. nerve deformity. Every time I blink, my nose twitches. Really? Whoa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't that crazy? That fucking rules. No, it sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's nightmare. A deform Wait. It's a you don't like notice brain it. malfunction. You don't notice it until I say it. Yeah, yeah. And like, I What blink. does it feel like? I can't feel it unless I 
Unless I touch my, unless I'm holding my Dude, nose. that, that's wild. Isn't that crazy? Dude, that's every time, every time. That's fucking great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, I always like, uh, like I like doing mushrooms or whatever, or Same. like taking acid or something, whatever. That Chris I like, likes yeah, taking mushrooms without telling you now these yeah, days. Yeah. That's how yeah, much he yeah. likes doing mushrooms. He won't but, tell you? No. That you well, we got these mushrooms? little chocolates. We got these those little chocolates. The, those are the best. Yes, oh, dude. We got chocolates chocolate and gummies. So we got chocolates and gummies. They're cookies and cream chocolates. Yeah. It's unfucking good quality. Legal. The quality's really good. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. But anytime someone's like, oh, it's just so good and you like, you like, they think they're tapping into some other universe or whatever. Uh -huh. It's just like, I don't really, I like every time I take mushrooms, if I, if I take even a little bit too much, I always have the experience where it's like, I am messing with a very delicate machine <laughs> that... I should not it. be toying with. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like everything depends yeah. on like <laughs> on this thing operating smoothly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like the slightest fuck up. Like I got so fucking balled out once that I like I started to it started to be crazy to me how fast my brain like you look at like uh, like anything in this room like that light or that TV like uh -huh. Nothing about your like your brain is like that makes sense in this place and time mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you're not you're not looking at anything being like well that doesn't make it Why is that that TV's like out of date or something yeah. like that like any a street light a telephone ring I would just stare at a cup and it would take me 30 minutes to remember that it's just a cup Yeah, you, know, you get like lost yeah, in it yeah. for a second. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you Mushrooms. can get in this hole where like you you, you start uh, You start thinking about being a bridge painter without the paint. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm going to the bridge for a reason and it's to end whatever the fuck is going on in my skull right now <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I'm not looking for any sand. I'm just hitting straight water, but then end this fucking it. You get through all that, yeah, yeah, and that's the coolest part of shrooms, I think. Yeah, sure. the come is, down. Yeah, it, not the come down. Just like I was able to get through that, and then you go through like you have a stressful day at work or something, and you remember like, oh, I got through that mushroom trip. I can do anything. Yeah, because I thought I I thought the like world was about to end, yeah, yeah. and the anxiety was r shooting through yeah. my body. And, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. I really thought about jumping into the fire. Yeah, and I got through it. So like. I can I can make it through this. Yeah, I'm like move. pretty robust. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you yeah. Uh, you you I know you talked about this. You talked about yeah. this on your stand up. Yes. You, your mental. Yeah, I'm bipolar. You're bipolar. One. Yeah. yeah. So you take medication for that. You're I like do. legit. Yeah. My brother grew up this way. He still is still medicated and stuff. So yeah. I, I'd love for you to like fucking like. So you don't you don't take any of this anymore because no. you so you can't fuck with any marijuana, no so mushrooms. Not. I quit the booze. And the weed, because I was starting to feel guilty about indulging in these things, because I was like, I'm not doing everything that I can to stay baseline. And like, my family's been through the fucking ringer. Like, honestly, my 20s, I was a fucking mess, hospitalized six times. Really? Yeah. Like, I was, I, I, it was not good. So I felt like I was doing some, like, I wasn't even enjoying being drunk or high, because I was like, oh, if my family finds out I'm drunk or high, like, they're going to feel some type of way. You yeah. Know? So I just cut that shit out. And then if you're not drinking or smoking weed, you're not really going to go do blow or like pop. Yeah, a thousand right? percent. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So, you, yep. And I loved blow and I loved, I loved it all, but I was just like, if I'm not doing every single thing that I can to f make sure that I stay baseline, I'm doing a disservice to me and my whole family and the doctors that are helping me out at this clinic. Like, why am I taking these meds if I'm not even making sure that I'm yeah. sober? Yeah. yeah. And then I told myself that like, I, I'll still do mushrooms. Cause like, that's not a drug. That's like an experience. Yes. Right? Which was bullshit. That was a way of me just like, is it cope kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. Not having to be sober at parties and like tripping a little bit on mushrooms and like still feeling alive. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, my family found out that I was still doing mushrooms and they were kind of like, what the fuck? I thought you said you were sober. So I was like, you're right. And my girlfriend didn't love it either. She was, you know, she was very nervous every time. Everyone Did it was, ever spiral into anything or was it like... Since I've been sober, you mean? Or yeah, like, yeah. Like when you took mushrooms, did it, did it cascade into... No, I, I really think that, that uh, mushrooms can't do have like medicinal 
uh, properties. Yeah. And like yeah. If, if I was doing it with like a doctor <clears throat> present or like a, I was micro dosing, I wasn't even taking full doses. Yeah. I got these little pills. Uh, this kid grew, grew them like he was measuring it all out. Yeah. Micro doses, yeah. perfect. You yeah. pop two, it is. Then yes. you pop a couple two, two a couple hours later, mm -hmm. and you you felt fucking amazing. Yeah, yep. it not, just elevates your elevates your mood. Yeah, L literally not even tripping. Yeah, right, right. There's no visual, no, no visuals, distortions, just like giggly and like yeah. You you would forget <clears throat> that you took it, and an hour and a half later, you'd be hysterical laughing at something. And you'd be like, life is so good. And then right. you'd be like, oh yeah, I took fucking money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so that was chill. But I, I realized I was cheating myself and lying and telling people I was sober and still doing that. And it, it just wasn't my vibe. And like, uh, so did, does this, does this, does this come from therapy as well? Like, wh where do you, co how do you cope with being bipolar and saying I'm gonna, I have to cut everything out and putting all that pressure on yourself? Uh, I don't. No, that's a good question because there's days where I wake up and I go, I'm going to celebrate my whatever day sober I am by getting fucked up because I deserved it. And like, yeah, and I have to realize like that would be detrimental to my life and I'm doing so well. I've been baseline, which is like what I call not being manic, not being depressed. Yeah, for yeah. Like, Three and a half years. That's the longest I've ever gone wow. my, Holy my whole shit. life. Um, I've taken my medicine for three and a half years straight, which is the longest I've ever gone ever in my life. Uh, so I'm sort of at a place where I'm just like, why fuck this up? Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. That's what's keeping me going. I'm not in a 12 step program. I don't go to AA. I might like start going just because like as it's as the time is going on, it is getting more difficult to like. Like I said, like I wake up sometimes and I'm just like, I want to be bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't even yeah. care what it is. I don't care which drug. I just, I just want to like fly off the handle. A I little want to bit. stay up all night and yeah. dance. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. That doesn't even make sense. But yeah. like, no, it makes perfect it's sense. It's the demons in me. It's the mania in me, whatever it is. It's, it's just, I did that for so long, my whole life since yeah. I'm like 15, 16. Yeah. I coped by just getting fucked up. Yeah. And I thought that was normal. So you're deadening your instincts through what behaviors other than telling yourself you're better than that? Uh, right now, it's really just me telling myself I'm better than that. Shaming yourself Putting, on the other shame, side. Shaming myself on the other <clears throat> side. Telling myself that my family is more valuable than anything. Yeah. And the people that love me have been through so much. That I, and people tell you, you got to get sober for yourself. You can't get sober for anybody yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. I think that's kind of bullshit because I literally look at my girlfriend. I look at my sisters and I go, I am doing most of this for. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't want to be a problem for them. Yeah. 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 My, I can't call my dad from another psych ward. I can't call my mom from another psych ward Yeah. and scream at her for half an hour. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's, it's, I'm 30, I'm about to be 33. It's not cute anymore. Yeah. It used to be, oh, Matt's, you know, he's eccentric. He's an artist. And now it's just like, no, he's a fucking idiot. Well, there is also, too, that thing where you're like, well, if I'm going to be like a professional artist, I have to, like, be professional about it. That's another thing. You're, like, you're like, I do, like, I need to be able to, like, show up and do shit. And I need to, like, have my yeah. stuff together. Like, you can't live a whole life that's just totally insane yeah. all the time. You can. And people do it. And yeah, some but, people... Yeah have more success than others, but like I wasn't doing it. Yeah. I wasn't being successful. I was getting kicked off of things that I worked really hard to do. I, I was, I was fucking up at every st right. stage yeah. of the game. Well, from what I understand, and I don't mean to speak for you, but yeah. like from my experience with my brother, like the bipolar aspect is so different from just excessive partying or drug addiction. Like it, the, the, the control of, of the, the, the man <clears throat> mania, and the depression for him was it spiraled out of control because he no one knew he was born in 74 yeah so there were there was no like they used know. to call it manic depressive back then yeah they didn't even call it bipolar yeah and he was taking well, like lithium and shit so I like nobody take lithium nobody knew how to like handle him but we just thought it was like oh he's fucking nuts he's just, yeah he's just steve yeah he's just fucking he's a dude that's you know at any moment will kick your door open and fuck you up. Yeah, it's that's terrible. And uh, what is it like now? Is it like um like when you, over the course of that 3 years have has it been like uh 
you're just steady? Or is it a thing because you're sober, you're better able to like recognize when you're starting to like go off the rails a little bit, like get into one of those episodes. And because you're sober, you're, you've got like more strength to kind of like bring yourself back to baseline. I think that's 100% a hundred percent. A huge part of it is me recognizing my mood swings and saying, OK, I got to go to like my doctor and explain this to them. My support system, my family and my girlfriend, a huge part of like identifying when I'm acting a little bit uh, erratic or just like too high or like staying out too late. Sleep is a, is a huge, yeah, huge yeah. part of it. Like I have to get eight hours every night or, I'm, or it's, it's not good. It starts to get dicey. So like just making sure that I go to bed every time. But to, to answer your question, sorry. Um, that, that being sober part, I think is a double edged sword, right? Cause like the chemicals in my brain are working better and the medicine is working better. So that in one part, I think is greatly helping my sobriety and my baseline and, and that. Yeah. And like you said, also just like, Ooh, I'm feeling really good. Like, uh Oh, let me fucking simmer down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a lot easier to do when you're not g going on a bender every weekend. Uh, yeah. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm not numbing my thoughts with anything. So I actually can sit in a cafe and go, that was kind of weird when I <laughs> called that person or like demanded to, you know what I mean? Just yeah. like that, that behavior was irrational. Yeah. Yeah. Why did I do that? Am I in a good mood because these TikToks are going viral or am I in a good mood because something's wrong, you know? Right. And, and it sucks because it, like, I, I want to be happy. Yeah. We I, all want to be happy. We know it's a fleeting emotion. And like I said two seconds ago, like every time I feel really good, I have to go, oh, fuck. <laughs> you know? Why do it's, I feel I'm, I'm so good? I'm just being good? fucked with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do I feel so good? I have do to you think there's going to be an, a, a, an opportunity in the future for you? for, for you? Because it seems like you're, you're getting a grip on who you are now for th being three years level. Yeah. Right? to not judge yourself so much towards the happiness and like fucking, you know, self shaming yourself or feeling one way or the other. Do you think you'll level out and, and just riding the emotions of a, a it's day to day? Such, it's thing? such a slippery slope, man, because these manic episodes for me, it's like three days. I'll go from Matt Pavich, cool, chill dude to me at the comedy cellar screaming. I think I should, I should be passed here, you know? And yeah. That, and people going, you got to get the fuck out of here. Dude. Yeah, what yeah, are you yeah, doing? You're yeah. Doing, yeah. And I'm, and I'm, you know, saying all sorts of irrational shit, fucking doing dumb shit up till. And this is without booze. This is, uh, the booze doesn't help. Yeah, obviously. Um, but I'll do this sneaky thing when, when my parents and when my mom, like my family comes to me and they go, we think something's up. I'll go fine. I'll go sober. I won't smoke. I won't, I won't drink. And then I'm still manic. So it's not, it's not just the booze. I have a chemical imbalance. Yeah, have, right. My brain works different, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It all, yeah, sorry. No, no, go ahead. I was going to say, it also feels like it's extra tough in this line of work because there's so much that feels borderline delusional about every piece of it. You oh know what I mean? Like, Delusions of grandeur is, is, <laughs> yes. is a necessary part of this career. You have to have no, delusions 100%. of grandeur. And I, Even at the smallest level, like a new bit. A new bit. Is this good? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to I have to go, yeah, that's a funny idea, Matt. Not, you know, you know, it, it is, but, no, no, but is it, is it funny? And, and I'm, I'm not even talking about them. I'm just talking no, about I'm the saying in your head. Yeah. I know, but yeah. I'm, I also have horrible bouts of depression in my yeah. life. Yeah. And that's like less fun to talk about and like less cool Dude, and whatever. I mean, the, the, the fact that to Chris's point, this, this, this line of work is the worst. It's a yeah, roller coaster. If you were like an accountant Anything for this, you would just, yeah. right, right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Any, any good stand up com comedy career is a fucking roller coaster. Yes. They get something, they're hot. Yeah. They come back down, they're hot. You add fucking a literal roller coaster 
mood disorder to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. like, come on, what yeah. the fuck are we even? <laughs> how do you? you know? And also, maybe how do you it's fucking, like, yeah. If you you can't tell your pop pop that that guys dancing in the same room is is not gay. Exactly. How do you describe <laughs> this career to somebody while having a a chemical imbalance? It's like dude, you <laughs> don't even. If you've never slept on a fucking air mattress and they eat dollar sliced pizza for for a year and a half, you know. And it's I have. Like, and yeah, I have of course. For, for longer than a year. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Several yeah. years. My and 20s. then you fucking. To, to your point about the drink, like for me, drinking and drugging and, and a lack of sleep, I'll start wor wor like worrying about my anxiety. My anxiety will then give me a panic attack sometimes. Yeah. I've only had like three serious panic attacks. Yeah, those are awful. The rest of them, I'm on the verge where I get tingly in my nose, like when you wink. Uh, and the lips and the finger, the fingertips and shit. And I yeah. just, I have breathing techniques that I learned not to pull over on the side of the road and act like I'm dying under yeah, a tree. Yeah. And I just, my mother like refuses to hear it anymore because my brother's bipolar. My yeah. other brother's a fucking nut. And I was, she's like, well, tell me about your diet. And she sets me up for this shit. Yeah. She's like, okay, well in the morning, still drinking a craft of fucking cold brew. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay. At night, you still drinking yourself to sleep basically. Yeah. Are you getting up after like five hours of restless sleep? Yeah. Are you doing that for fucking years at a time? Couple on each other? Yeah, your anxiety is going to be a bit higher, Tom. Yeah. Until you fix your own shit, all these thoughts should be in your own mouth, in your own head, because you are in total control. So I commend you for this, because it truly is, it's a decision to go, I'm not going to do that. Well, I talked to this Dr. Nuremberg on my podcast. You talked to Nuremberg? <laughs> is that not, did uh, I make no, that name no, no, The no, trials? No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I might, that might be the wrong name. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, no, it might be no, the it's same a name. It's a I'm famous, sure there's a couple it's a Nuremberg's. famous trial. Oh, okay. Yeah. So maybe the that Nazis. wasn't it. Yeah. Oh, then that wasn't it. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't mean to call him a Nazi. Yeah, no, that's that, fine. That thing that you said about showing up in the comedy cellar and yelling, that's, that club really hit home for me because I did that. Yeah. What? And it's the best thing I've ever done in my whole career. <laughs> Not at the cellar, yeah. but I, I like, I had problems with our home club. And there was like a, the booker there was like, I thought irresponsible and <laughs> not doing right. But, and I like, I went there many weeks in a row and I would like, I would go to watch features that he booked. Bomb. Yeah. And drag him into the showroom. I was kind of drunk. Yeah. I Are we talking him. whiskey quiz or regular quiz? Uh, I was already hot. Like, I, I was just like my, my, like I was, it was, you know, you go through those phases where you're you like, you can't you're say like my, my career is really like, really not going anywhere. Oh yeah. And I've been really putting in a lot of work uh -huh. and it's like, I either fucking blow the roof off this fucking thing <laughs> yeah. or like it's going to die anyway. You start going, what could I lose? Yeah. <laughs> what what, what yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah. could I lose? Right. Yeah. And, yeah, and that's not a good place to be. No, no, it's no, not. No, no, it's no. not. <laughs> Hold on, but this is great for story. <laughs> but, so you grab this dude by the arm? Is it? No, no. It was many weeks in a row. I would go there and I'd be like, watch this motherfucker. He sucks. She <laughs> sucks. Are you fucking kidding me? I would go into his room. In and his you office, wonder why you weren't booked. And yeah. I got, no, and then that forced him to start booking me. The first weekend I ever got was with Santino. Oh. And then, boom! I was just. And on someone the road else had head. the. Someone else had the manager this by the arm. This sucks. guy sucks. <laughs> this, guy <laughs> this guy fucking eats it. Yeah, well, uh, dude, and like my. He if, shits in buckets. I, but that's what's crazy is that it's like, you have those things where it's like, sometimes it is okay. You're really out of control, and this is inappropriate what you're doing. But then there's some times where it's like, you know what, man? I got to stand up for myself. I got to fucking yeah, do yeah. something. This, tell me about, this, tell this me about, was not that, though. This, no, no, this no. no I'm not saying that it was. I'm mania, saying that, like, uh, that's what's crazy about this business is there is, like... A fine line. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a fine yeah, line, man. Yeah. What's a Nuremberg thing? Uh, so he go, I go, what's the greatest advice that you have for someone suffering from uh, mental illness. And he said, listen to your mom. He goes, she's gonna tell you to get more sleep. She's gonna tell you to eat right. She's gonna tell you to not drink and do drugs and fucking be, a, be an idiot. Listen to your mom. And I was like, wow, I have been not listening to my mom for so long <laughs> I know. of whatever deep rooted shit we had. And uh, it really hit home for me and uh, it's, I think it's great fucking advice. Yeah. 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 Damn. Yeah. Listening to like an old person who's like, you know, settling down 
Is they got it, good advice. Yes. They got like, good advice. Well, also, like, who else would care for you more than a mother? My uh, mother yes. loves me. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. There's nobody else. And I'm so mean to her when I'm manic. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. What's the, what's the energy like? Like, what's the... Are you, like... <laughs> You want to reenact the call, Chris? No, I, I, I don't know. I just like I'm. I'm interested to know. Is it like? So like, are I'm, you referencing will you accept things the that call she from? did to you, or are you just kind of like yeah, dumping yeah. anger at somebody? I'm, I'm like, mad about everything, and I I think I have so much control over these situations, and that people aren't seeing through all this bullshit, and people are, and it's just embarrassing, man. I'm 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 psychotic. I'm I'm uh, I am manic. It's a specific energy i'm i talk really fast i don't shut up every thought that i have i think is some genius plan it, it's yeah uh, can i ask you this yeah. if you have i feel like i need to go to this thing. yeah no also anyone can understand and relate <laughs> like, on a level yeah i have two questions sure. one because from that point i think i'm gonna be a comedian <laughs> seriously. Yeah, seriously i think yeah. i'm gonna be famous I and mean, it's like but i Doesn't have it... to kind of think that yes. yeah yeah how yeah, how do you to. have such a balance on your your acceptance of your imbalance and your behaviors knowing going in and, and then going through the motions yet still holding yourself accountable with said embarrassment like yeah. how do you clear your conscience going well if i'm going to tell you uh, that's who i am i can't help it yeah i i, I can try and control it yeah. I can't totally control it. It's going to have ebbs and flows. And then shame yourself knowing that I went through that. I'm sorry. Your family yeah. has to have a, a level, like my family has a level of like... Empathy. Yes, of yeah. course. Acceptance and understanding. and empathy, No matter how... Yeah, you they know, always tell me like, you don't have to apologize. And I'm like, no, I do. The, the shame that you feel after a manic episode, because not only... Did you do and say and spend all your money and do all this dumb shit? You yeah. have minus two thousand dollars in the bank account, whatever the fuck it is. Now you're clinically depressed. Right. Every good feeling that you had is yeah. the exact opposite. Yeah. You literally and physically for me, I'm speaking for me, can't get out of bed. Yeah. And you have all this time to just ruminate and that's not the right word, but just No, it's all no, that's right. ruminate. Yeah. Just have emollient. That's, what you're <laughs> That's the word you're looking for. <laughs> you guys are gonna call that. Uh, <laughs> Talk about a backhanded compliment. <laughs> <laughs> You guys got that moxie. Yeah, you guys do that. Uh, you're real kind of writer types, huh? This dude's great. This dude's big time green in the middle right now. I meant it sincerely. I, I really did. But I feel like we've all been in the back of the room being like, guy, yeah, there's nothing but callbacks. Yeah. Nothing but callbacks. Yeah, I'm sorry. Another act out from this guy. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's, it's it, it, the shame... So the depressive hole you say is, is so yeah, much. So, so this shame that I do for myself isn't, doesn't even come close to the shame that I have for all of the dumb, embarrassing things that I've done while yeah. I'm manic. Yeah. And through therapy and through the just time heals all fucking wounds yeah. is, is a, is a statement that, uh, is it true? Not I don't really. think so. Not really, but, but it also like, well, if you it, spend that time trying to correct the wrongs. Yeah. And yeah. also like you just forget you black out when you're manic. So like there's things I've done that I don't even fucking remember. Yeah. Yeah. So the things that I do remember, I've, I've tried to apologize. I've tried to make amends. Some people have cut me out and I completely understand it. Um, but, yeah, the I hope that answered the question. I'm did, interested yeah. to know like what like what your relationship uh, this may be too probing of a question, but no, it's no. like I I'm your relationship with your girlfriend is that like do you feel like really in debt to her in a way that like 100%. But does that feel uncomfortable? I feel like like a good relationship in my mind, I've never been in one, but uh, is, is built on like balance. Yeah. So we know? met while I was in the throes of a manic episode three and a half years ago. Okay. And she ro rode with me the whole fucking way, it visited me in the psych ward, didn't really. Right off the jump? No. I mean, okay. I had like a long manic episode. I was going for like three or four months of just like nonstop partying. 
I was destroying my life. And she was there, like, trying to get me to come home, like, finding me at a party and convincing me to leave. And, you know, she uh, she rode with me this whole way and rode with me through the depressive state and said, you know, I, I just saw something in you that I knew that you were a wonderful person and I wanted to see it through. And... We've been riding for three and a half years. Holy maybe. shit! So yeah. she, you met her in the middle, in the middle or the beginning of the episode. So like first two times we met, I was probably hypomanic, which is like not full blown manic. Uh, it's like right before hypomanic. It's yeah. kind of like the sweet spot. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I know you're not. Supposed you pulled a dime. To, no, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're not supposed to like celebrate mania in any way, but like. <laughs> Hypo, if I could be hypomanic all the time, I would be a fucking superstar. You microdosed star, on mania. I yeah. microdosed on mania. That's exactly, that's exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. what Micromania? Yeah. Micromania. I've never thought about it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I literally dosed out the perfect amount. I was getting shit done. I was crushing on stage. I was fucking hitting yeah. on podcasts. Still sleeping for yeah. some reason. Still sleeping. Yeah, not as much as I should have been, but you know... Uh, and we met and she was, you know, I'm fucking fun and going out and we're going to cool places. And <clears throat> we met at the box. We, uh, I don't know if you've ever been to the box. It's yeah. like this burlesque, uh, wild show. And, you know, we, uh, we ha haven't stopped being together since. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh man. That, that, that's also makes the, the but come do. down extra frightening because you're like, I've been the fun guy. Yeah. they have been the fun me. <laughs> Yeah. And you like, don't ever have to worry about that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you something. Once you get out of your hole, I'll let you know when <laughs> fun Chris shows up. That's, that's what I'm saying. So you can imagine how, how deep the hole goes when I, when I stop being fun. <laughs> yeah, it's like, fun me ain't that fun. Uh, yeah. But there is an indebted quality to our relationship that that is is probably a little unhealthy um that i am trying to like address and we are addressing the fact that i feel very indebted to her and that's not really fair um and she, and she also like um keeps tabs on me yeah which is annoying not the healthiest You're right dynamic yeah. to have in a relationship right. when she's like you have to come home and then she uses the excuse. Do you feel the anger building? Oh yeah. Yeah. The, her, her excuse is you, you have to get enough sleep because you have are bipolar. And my excuse is like, yeah, but I'm at a show and I'm hanging and I'm like working. It's part of your work. Yeah, it is. It is. hundred yeah. percent. And like con convincing anyone that hanging out at a bar and watching know, a comedy show is dude, work. I is lost tough. two relationships because of it. And yeah. she's the best. She's a performer herself. She understands it. I'm not knocking her in any way, but like, it is a fine line of like, is she my babysitter or my girlfriend sometimes that, yeah. that can get. Yeah. And it becomes it's patronizing thing, yeah. in a sense where it's like, you don't un, like, I get fucking, I get upset with even family members about like, oh, look at fucking Mr. Big Shot. Don't come around here no more yeah. until it's fucking Easter. It's like, yeah. <laughs> pussy, ride a bus. Yeah. Take a bus from New York to Philadelphia. Yeah. Take the train to the bus to yeah. the to to the Take fucking New Jersey to, trains, to, to train, another train to, to a fucking it's six hours the, to get yeah. to my parents' house. I'm yeah. not kidding. Six yeah. hours. They're 45 minutes away from Philadelphia. There's no public transportation to get from suburban station 30th Street, rather to to their their neighborhood. Yeah, it takes. I have to take like six trains. I can get to fucking L.A. Yeah, from LaGuardia, 10 minute drive. Yeah, yeah. In the yeah, same yeah. amount of time, it yeah. takes me to sit at my parents' house. When I get there. All I hear is, you don't come around. Yeah. You don't call your mom. Uh -huh. And I sit down like, well, I'm here now. And then my mom goes, I got to go to bed. I have work in the morning. She fucks off. My dad goes downstairs and vapes while drinking Carla Rossi in the basement. Yeah. And I'm just sitting there in a fucking, a rancher. What did I in do In Westchester, PA. I'm like, yeah. why the fuck what did I do, this? Did I do right. any of this? Yeah. And I don't even get to return the conquering hero. Right. I, I return as like. <laughs> That's as not like, even the work like we have to like, put in. First of all, you're never around. Also, are you going to be okay? Yeah. You, right. Do you, need you can't something? talk to him about yeah. anything. You can't say, I'm going through this. I'm going through that. Your mother is a let. She's the, the best person to listen to for advice. Uh -huh. The worst person you could tell anything to. Yeah. Mine, at least. Because she has no life experience outside of being a mom and then being a nurse. That's it. She skipped everything else. I mean, yeah. There's a lot of. 
experience. <laughs> yeah. She's done nothing with her life. Hold <laughs> on. She's a nurse. She's a, nurse she's and she's a, a mom. mother. I mean, yeah. God. That is a lot. I'm yeah. sorry. I that drink sounds very and, disrespectful. I drink coffee and booze. <laughs> what I'm saying is, <laughs> once in a while I make some food. She's not, she doesn't, you know, she has one uh, Kahlua and cream at Christmas. No, Probably you don't want to confide my dad in her. Because then she'll worry about you. That's, exactly. That's, that's my, that's, 100%. Yes, that's yeah. my worry is that and not 100%. only will she just worry, she'll yeah. set herself to work she'll call on the project. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And then it's like, and it's like a know, thing that she needs to be like I think that's working what I, on and engaging and like grinding through. And it's like, no, no, no. The worst thing you can do to me is, is investigate what, what how, I meant by exactly that. how my life is going. She is a simple mind in terms of like some people <laughs> decide that they... they they don't have relationships outside of their job. Sure. Yeah. They don't have friendships. They don't have a rewarding uh, situational uh, relationships that like yeah, provide the them a different perspective. Of what you're doing. Exactly. Yes. So even if I were to engage with my mother in a friendly manner, which I was never capable of, my uh -huh. father and I hated each other for years. And then we became friends when I got older because yeah. he could respect my experiences and we could talk like, like friends as yeah. opposed to dad mom sure i was always five years old in a fucking in a shopping cart it's in my mother's eyes regardless of what sure. i do so to start that conversation with her would be insurmountable yeah because then she she would have that worry the concern like how do i help you uh -huh. but there'd be no conversation or relationship building to like for her to understand my perspective it's this is such what a I, hard world to explain to someone who's lived the life that she has. And also someone you you're trying to protect. You could take her with you to work for six months. She still wouldn't get it. I mean, 100%. No, yeah. really, 100%. They listen to podcasts. They think they get it. Nobody fucking gets no. this. No. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of comedians that don't get They're, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, you got a lot of callbacks, huh? I got to take a piss. Yeah, okay. So do I. Can I smoke I would, a cigarette? Yeah, yeah. <laughs>